Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me solving JEE Advanced questions and today here I have a question from the JEE Advanced 2022 Paper 2 Question 3. And let's get into the question. So it asks us the greatest integer less than or equal to this big thing. This looks scary, right? But no, don't be scared about this. Maybe you can notice in the inputs of the integral that these two functions look like they're inverse of each other. So let's put that to the test. If we let this be fx, so is it possible that the inverse function will be equal to this? The sequence of events of how we make this is we cube, we add, and we take log base 2. Now, let's look at the sequence of this. We exponentiate it with base 2, we subtract and cube root. That sounds like an inverse, right? You guys can try this on your own, and I'll just tell you guys that these two are indeed inverse functions. With that in mind, then, I'm going to tell you guys a simple formula which goes like this. An integral from a to b of a function x dx, we add it with another integral, but the bounds are from f of a to f of b, and then the input is f inverse of x dx. Then this is actually equal to b times f of b minus a times f of a. Well, let's just see if these two integrals make this criteria. a to b, 1 to 2, some function of x, some function of x, plus f of a, so you plug 1 into here to get log 2, 2, which is 1. Correct? What if we sub 2 in here? Log 2, a plus 1, 9. Correct. And these two functions are inverse of each other. So isn't this just equal to this? Yes. But if you like math like me, then you will ask why. So I'm going to show you two methods to prove why this is correct. The first method being more straightforward, just manipulating the integrals and stuff will cancel out. But the second one being more beautiful, using geometry to prove it. And just a sneak peek, very cool. So we pretend that we don't know this. I can rub all of this out. Well, why don't we just try a simple u substitution and see what happens. So if we do a u sub on this, then we let u be f inverse of x. So, by definition, we know that x is equal to f of u. Because this is the definition of inverse functions. So, we know that we just do the bounds, very simple. When x is equal to f a, then u will be, if we plug f a in here, then it's f inverse f of a. And those two are inverse operations. So they cancel each other out. So this is just a. And when x is equal to fb, by using the same logic, we know that u will be equal to b. Okay? So this is actually equal to the integral from a to b of fx dx plus the integral from a to b again u and then dx is just dfu right and this is in standard form of integration by parts so this is equal to the integral from a to b of fx dx add it with this is just u times f of u 
plugging the values from A to B. And then subtract an integral from A to B of f of u du. Then we know that this is equal to the integral from A to B. Ooh. f of x dx. Plus, you plug B and plug A, then you get B F B minus A F A. And then you subtract it with the integral from A to B of. We can change u to x since these are just dummy variables. And look. This is my favorite part. Cancel, cancel. So we know that this is actually equal to BFB minus AFA. First proof done. Now we'll move on to the geometrical proof. Well, let's try to prove this geometrically. Let's look at the first integral. We said that this is fx, right? And the integral goes from 1 to 2. So we can draw that easily. So it's 1 to 2. So it's just this area here. We know that by definition of inverse functions, the area under the curve f of x from 1 to 2 on the x-axis is the same as the region bounded by the curve f inverse of x from 1 to 2 on the y-axis. So we know that this area is the same as from 1 to 2 on the y-axis of this area, right? So it will just be here. But this is only the first integral that we have done. So let's look at the second integral. From 1 to log 2, 9 of the inverse function, which is this, the blue curve. Well, that's easy sketch, right? Just this area. Well, let's see. This looks like a rectangle, right? Well, it is. So if we want to figure out this area, then it's just the area of the whole rectangle minus the area of this little square, correct? And we know that 1 is f1, and this is f2, right? So we know that the area of the whole rectangle is the distance like this, which is 2, and the distance like this, which is f2. And 2 is the b, so it's b times f of b, right? And we subtract it with the area of this little square, which is 1 times f1, which is a times fa. Now, isn't that just amazing? Yes. Well, since I've already proved this two times, we can conclude that this is actually equal to 2 times log Two nine minus one. Done. Well, we know that log two times log two nine is just log two nine squared because we can put this to the power, so it's eighty one minus one is just log two and two to the power of one, which is two, right? And since this is a subtraction of logarithms, then we know that. So it's equal to log 2, 40.5. Let's raise 2 to the 5th power. 2 to the 5th power is 32, which is less than this. So then this has to be greater than 5, correct? And if we raise this to the 6th power, then it's 64. And 64 is greater than this. So this has to be smaller than 6, right? But it says less than or equal to this. 
5. So, this is the final answer of, I think, what to be the most cool questions that I've ever done in my life. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed my video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.